Nigeria agriculture is a sector mostly run by smallholder farmers who are fully operating on a subsistence scale of farming. These operations is faced with a lot of challenges such as low productivity because of non-accessibility to inputs, lack of finance and information, inadequate knowledge sharing and problem of marketing their produce. To address such issues, Gartner Calloway started a commodities training company which is in distribution of products produced and processed. You grow something, your job is to sell it. See, that has always been the attitude of the Nigerian person or Nigerian individual dealing with agriculture. A person whose primary purpose is growing a product is not necessarily the best person to sell it. Now, selling a product, you have to remember, growing a product is about getting the right position, the right place, the right um, facilities, worrying about the quality of your product. Then selling it is about getting it to market fresh, on time, efficiently, and most especially to the person who needs it the most. It is a supply chain problem. Our, our key problem that needs to be solved is storage. It is a problem. There is way too much wastage. That is, that is a unique problem. There's way too much wastage. And another thing with, with, with farmers is that what they produce, the reason why farmers, even though the, um, the Nigerian agricultural sector um, takes a large part of our GDP, you will find out, okay, it's a large part of the GDP, but these farmers are not rich. These farmers don't have money. And it's simply because a lot of what they produce goes to waste. Now, it's also something you have to consider about this entire farm. It's the reason why we're thinking in different ways of growing, because you will then find that something like our sustainable farms, our hydroponic farms, minimizes waste in the way you grow. You think about um, in the oil and gas space, tank farms. Tank farms, the people who own tank farms, they don't just store their own products. They store other people's products. And that's what trading, that's what we are going to do at trading. Like, by the time we're done, it's the long-term plans. We can't just store ours. It's not a valuable use of our money. We have to be able to attract other people to store their, um, what's it called, their own products. Maybe they want to export it. Maybe they want to keep it for a later purpose. Maybe they want to dry it for whatever reason. But the point is, a key, a key part to agricultural development is actually ensuring that whatever you do produce, you should minimize its... Um, it's decomposition. You should minimize the amount of losses you have. And right now, we lose way too much agricultural produce just to expiration. And th that is a shame. Today, economies are facing many challenges. The increasing scarcity of resources with high cost, skill shortages, and of course, the impact of climate change. Experts believe there is a need to use resources more responsibly while satisfying demand for sustainable products. Experts also say the world desperately needs new ways to grow our food. As the global middle class grows, the world must produce 70% more calories and at least 100% more total agricultural crops by 2050. Meanwhile, the Sustainable Development Goals dauntingly call for a complete end to global food insecurity by 2030. Economists say agriculture is still the number one driver of climate change and global population. Agriculture is today said to be a $5 trillion industry, the world's largest, and represents 10% of global consumer spending, 40% of employment, and 30% of greenhouse gas emissions, though methane from livestock rates a considerable portion. And we've been warned there is no way to produce the increasing amount of food we will need without massive improvements in growing technology. Happily, conventional farming has already made immense strides outdoors. We are strong advocates of the notion that wherever you are doesn't mean that you're not hungry or you need food or the institutions, the businesses, they need food. A lot of these people are important things. So if we can provide it for them as a start, as part of growth model, then we're providing, we're, we're helping the food security issue in Nigeria and we're helping people and stopping them from importing and we're providing them with fresh, local, good quality produce that would match the quality of what they're bringing in from other countries. Produce grown under the hydroponics conditions typically matures faster, has more leaves, is crisper, tastes better, and stays fresh considerably longer than food raised plants. It can be produced year round, and the amount of water used is as little as 2% of what will be necessary outdoors.
That's our program for today. Thank you for watching. Do check our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash channelsweb. Do click the playlist menu and then add file to view this episode and other episodes of the program. You can send us your comments and questions by writing to edfile at channelstv.com. And you can also follow me on Twitter. From me, Ayola Kasim, and the Edfile crew here in Lagos, it's bye for now. Mm -hmm.